Hey, it's your boy Easy, and on today's episode of Easy Opens, we're going to be taking a look at the Snorlax figure from Tomy. So let's go ahead and get this figure free from its plastic prison, take a look, and see what we think about Snorlax. So here's Snorlax fresh out the box with his accessory. Now, um, his accessory is something I'm pretty sure from uh, Sun and Moon. I think it has something to do with Mega Evolving or something. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played the game. But I do know that there is a toy that has some of these in it as well. And you can buy these little crystal things in a pack of three or something. And I think that they all go with this other toy thing. So this accessory really doesn't do much for me, but he does come with it. So if you've got some use for it, that's cool. If not, well, you know, it doesn't really take away from the figure. So, so if you're not familiar with Snorlax, he made his first appearance in the generation one Pokemon games and has been a fan favorite ever since. And is one of my personal favorites as well. Usually in the games, you'd find him sleeping and he's blocking your path and you have to wake him up to get, you know, pr to proceed in the game. And when you wake him up, as with most people, uh, he's pissed. You have to fight him, and then you capture him, and then you get him on your team, and he's a badass powerhouse. And um, so I've always been a big fan of Snorlax, and I think a lot of other people are too, which would explain why I've only seen two other ones in the wild, including this one, and I picked him up immediately as soon as I saw him because I knew that he would be hard to find, at least in my area. Uh, some other area might have gotten all the Snorlaxes, but at least in my area, like uh, th he's pretty rare. Typically, this Pokemon is a huge Pokemon that towers over most of the other Pokemon. However, this figure is about a little over four and a half inches tall. And for that size, given the uh, other characters in the line, he's still pretty big, but not quite as much as I'd like. It's, it's in that sweet spot where it's like, I'm okay with it. Like, it doesn't bother me. But if he was bigger, I, I would be totally happy with that. And so talking about height and scale with other figures, let's go ahead and take a look and see how he measures up to some other figures you might have in your collection. So here he is next to the SH Figuarts Ryu figure and Figma's Zelda figure. Here he is with SH Figuarts Super Mario and Luigi figures. Here he is next to the Bandai Legacy Gold Ranger figure and the Marvel Legends Spider-Man 2099 figure. Now here he is with D-Art's Bulbasaur figure and Blaziken figure. And here he is with D-Art's Blastoise and Charizard figure. And here he is next to the McDonald's Jigglypuff figure and the Tomy Totodile Greninja figures as well as SH Figuarts Pikachu figure. So this figure is generally very flat. Like he's just got two colors on him basically, maybe three if you count like, you know, the eyes, colors and stuff. And um, he's a very basic when it comes to design in the sense of like, there's not a lot of flair, but he does still have a lot of character in his simplistic design. And so that is reflected here very much so. Uh, the paint is pretty good. However, with Tomy, you know, it can be hit or miss. It's not precise, but for something this big, it's it's a lot easier to, to you know, do it right as opposed to the smaller figures where you got to be more detailed and sometimes that doesn't happen with uh, these figures in this line. However, I'm fairly certain I, I got a pretty good Snorlax. The sculpt, it's really neat how they did everything. He's got arm articulation and, leg and feet articulation, which is really cool. I guess leg articulation, but you know, it's kind of hard to tell if it's a foot or a leg because there's not much there. But what's here is really great and kind of captures the character in the way an action figure should. I can see some people saying that it's not quite the way that they want Snorlax to look. Like, I, I mean, it's not the worst that I've ever seen in, as far as my personal preference, but it, it, it meets my expectations, but it could also be better in my opinion. Now, one thing that I think they could have done without was the action feature, which is his belly. It's just a soft kind of, like you could, you could push the belly in and it's like a soft plastic. And now that's cute and kind of cool. And I do realize that this is a kid's toy line, 
but I totally hate action features. It just kills a figure for me. Thankfully, this one didn't quite offend me as bad as, as it should. I think just given that I didn't at the time realize there were other options for a Snorlax representation in figure form, and uh, I'll talk about that more later. It's it's not done bad, but it kind of sucks because this type of plastic um, that they used on, this, on his belly it seems to pick up dirt and grease and grime and stuff off of your hands, just normal stuff, but it picks it up and it is very apparent, especially considering that it's a lighter uh, tone of paint on, on his plastic, on that on his belly. And so the, the, the dirt kind of shows up a lot more. And so I don't look forward to that, but um, I, I kind of have to ding it for that. But other than that, like the sculpt and the paint, like they're all pretty, you know, legit so I can't really complain uh, you know for what this figure is on its own it's not a bad figure so uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation that you're gonna get out of this Snorlax figure alright so let's take a look at the articulation you're gonna get out of this Snorlax figure so uh, let's start with the head Snorlax doesn't have a lot of movement I mean you get 360 rotation at the neck but up and down, you don't get really any. It just kind of slightly moves, but not enough to give you any kind of dynamic range. Um, his arms will go up this far, and uh, they are on um, a 360 rotation uh, at the shoulder as well. And uh, you get a single jointed elbow. Then on to his legs, which are actually really neat. His feet are on a ball joint. So you get 360 rotation as well as front to back, side to side movement, which is really cool. But you also get these like giant uh, rotating circles, which are a really genius idea of getting articulation into a figure like this. So you just kind of rotate it. And um, I don't know if it's coming through very well, but yeah, you just rotate this to position the foot wherever you would like or wherever you need it to be to balance the figure and get it in a more dynamic pose. And I love that. I think that's really awesome. And so, um, however, unfortunately, that's all the articulation that you get out of this figure, but I mean, there's really not much you need Snorlax to do, especially because he sleeps most of the time. So, uh, so yeah, so that's all you're going to get out of, uh, the articulation from Snorlax. I'm a huge fan of Snorlax. I love the character. I love his design. I just love this character and he's almost always in one of my teams in Pokemon when I'm playing the games and I'm so glad that I have a physical representation of him on my toy shelf despite the action feature with the, the soft belly and all that and the fact that his uh, neck articulation is kind of weak like he doesn't he can't look up and move around too off too much but what's here and what uh, we've got for the price point from Tomy, like it's not a bad figure. I actually do like it. This would be a good figure for you if you're a fan and would like to have an articulated figure of Snorlax. I would recommend this. However, um, looking at some forums and doing some research, I did find that there is an actual Snorlax bank, like a piggy bank, that they sell in China on eBay for about $12 as well. And I saw some comparison pictures with that, and I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards that as possibly being my default Snorlax. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to like get rid of this one, but I will probably be purchasing that bank just to have as a bigger representation of this character in my Pokemon display. And I think it'll go well, especially considering that this character usually doesn't do a lot of moving unless he's like stampeding at you. But other than that, he's usually sleeping or just lounging around. So, I mean, I think that having a more static figure of this character, you know, wouldn't be that bad. So, um, but one thing I do wish that uh, would have happened though would have been that if Tommy would have utilized the same methods that Good Smile did when they did their Kirby Nindoroid where basically Kirby's just a spherical character and they put magnets in, on, on his uh, arms and legs and you could just move them around there. I think that Snorlax would have benefited hugely from a articulation dynamic like that. That would have been amazing. But then again, granted that this is a line that's a cheaper line for kids. And so I can see why they probably didn't go that extra mile and do that. But uh, I would be really, you know, I wouldn't complain if another company wanted to make a Snorlax figure and use magnets like they did with Kirby. That'd be really rad. And I think that most figures that are spherical like this, that if you're going to give it articulation, I mean, this magnets thing, like, you know, come on, people get with it. This, this thing's pretty neat. 
at least in my opinion. All right, well, that's gonna do it for me today. Thanks so much for watching, and if you liked what you saw, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more of me, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna hear more from me for some weird reason, be sure to check the description below uh, for links to my other podcasts where we have Turtle Soup, where a friend and I talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles every other week. And then there's Daydream Nation, where a friend and I talk about a different record every other week as well. So thanks again so much for watching, and be sure to check back here often for more opening goodness right here on Easy Opens. Else time.